Hey guys, we're here doing a video. This Honda Civic has got rod knock. Just picked it up for my brother and thought it was gonna be something easy to fix, but not quite. I'll let you guys kinda listen to it. Listen to that thing. Now there's a couple things you can do to find out What's, what's causing the rod now. You can't grab this and pull it. Um, I don't want to shock myself, so. Um, see how it stops? That's how you can tell that's the main one. That's the one doing the knocking. There's another way to test it, and I'm going to do that also. So I'm going to turn it off before the front will speed up on me. So, here I had these loose already, so I'm just going to pull them off. Fortunately, the sun's on the wrong side. You guys can barely see me pulling these things off. And, you know, I like working on cars. And so, pop that, pop that guy out. Set it aside for now. Come on, darn thing. Sometimes you need two hands to do this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove the spark plugs. And I'm going to remove them all because there's no need for... And we're going to test how you know that it's it's rod knock and which one's knock and which one's a bad one. And at this point, everything I've heard, all the research I've done is basically saying the uh, engine's gone. Unless you really want to tear it down and uh, fix it. And I'm pretty sure and it entails a lot. So, I'm not that good of a mechanic, so I'm not going to. I did find another guy who has a motor, uh, uh, another car, 05 Honda Civic, for 500 bucks. But I don't think I want to deal with it. And then that means I got to disconnect all kinds of stuff and do all this, and no. And then. It's not worth it. I don't think the car is worth, um, you know, two grand anymore. It's got a few dents, and for that reason, I don't want to mess with it. So here's all four plugs out here in a second. All right. So the next step on this, I wish I could just set my phone somewhere where you guys can just see it. Well, I'm not going to. I have to get this guy. See the pulley right there? I gotta put him right in there. Then, if you look up in here, hopefully I don't. If you look up in here. Normally you would take the valve, this this cover out. This cover was already gone. But you see up right there? My finger's pointing at it. It says up right there. Okay, that's going to be top dead center up here. And before I get to top dead center, I picked up the screwdriver. I already had it here. I'm going to put it in here. Now they say don't use something hard because you will damage um, as a piston comes out, but I'm gonna be careful anyways. It's, I mean, I can feel it, see it coming up. And as it starts to go down, you just let it go down about a quarter of an inch. 
then you grab it, make sure you're on top of the piston, and you push down. That was me. That wasn't anything bad. Now, I'm going to do the next piston, which will be number... I got to do number... The next one would be number three. So there was no clicking there. That was me who did the clicking. It wasn't... Uh, my screwdriver slipped, slipped in there, so there was nothing going on. Darn magnet. Magnet. Okay. Put this right in there. And we're going to watch it go up. And as soon as it goes down... See how it's starting to go down? Okay. I'll try not to let it slip this time. See, nice and solid, no noise. Okay, that means that that, he was good. Okay, now we're gonna go, see the up, where it says up right there, that green marker? He's gonna go down, which, let me stop there, go to number four, because this is the positions of the piston. Now he's gonna come up and be, He's starting to go down, okay, right there. I'll make sure it does not slip. No noise, that means he's solid also. Okay, the very last one that up is right there. We're gonna move him to right about, let me put this screwdriver in the second one. And we're gonna watch this guy. As soon as he starts going down, see how he hesitate? Well, that was still turning, and you can see the up right there. That's the position that it should be in for piston number two. Okay? Now, listen to this. You guys just heard it. That's a bad piston. That's how you get the rod knock. That means the bearings inside the crankshaft is gone. And that's how you prove it. All right, hopefully this video helps.